you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I miss winter wardrobes living in L.A. Like you Yeah, wear, right? Because like, you can't wear the cool stuff. Yeah, you can't wear scarves. I like scarves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And cardigans. You know, a lot of knitwear hides a multitude of sins. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. So, Paul Bettany, we're in Paris, France. For yes. what must have been one of the funnest movies to, to be a part of, The mm. Tourist. How, how was it shooting this movie? It was really, I mean, it was really great. Lovely people, um, great director, and on top of which, you're in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, all of my stuff was shot in Venice, and uh, it is, it's, it's beautiful and totally magical because mm -hmm. it's so you, you realize that every building is resting on wooden, ancient wooden stakes that have been driven into the sand, and it's just right, right. slightly uh, mad. Right. Help. Hello? Shh. Let's have a little fun with it. Por favor. Who are you people? Where are we going? Well, I don't know, Alexander. Where are we going? I'm not Alexander. My name is Frank Tupelo. I'm an American citizen and I have rights. I don't care what you call yourself these days. Your name is Alexander Pierce and you have no rights. Until you pay us 744 million pounds back taxes. 744 million. Now, I know you're a classically trained actor and you've done a lot of, a lot of theater work. Now, now that you've done all these great movies and, and you have established your Hollywood career, do you get a chance to go back and do you know, the, the theater as much? I haven't done theater for years and, and really my, my, my intention was always to be a film actor. I grew up, I didn't grow up going to the theater. I grew up watching John Wayne movies, mm -hmm. you know, and I wanted to be a cowboy. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, that's a hard thing to do in Wilsdon, in North London. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. film was always in the in the cards for you. So yeah, to speak. definitely. Yeah. Okay, so as a as a tourist, this is my first time to Paris. What advice would you give to tourists worldwide? Like what 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 are tourist sensibilities that they should have? Take two guidebooks. Because you need a cross reference. Mm. I used to laugh at this uh, girl. She's an actress, Olivia Williams, uh, who, uh, you know, I, she would. I, in fact, it was in Venice. I came to Venice for the film festival. She was there, and I met her. And she had two guidebooks. So, what do you need a guidebook for? Now I'm getting older. I, I know what you need guidebooks for. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, take two guidebooks. Okay. Uh, yeah, or, or or you know, someone who's read one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, are you do, are you bilingual yourself? Do you know? Me no, I'm not. I am. Uh, I'm ashamed to say my my, and I try, but my wife speaks fluent French and fluent Italian, and um, and so she ends up taking over while I'm stumbling through the, <laughs> you know, through the menu. And she ends up taking over every situation, and and she's you know she speaks so beautifully, mm -hmm. but it's embarrassing. Right. How do, how do you go about choosing your roles? Because you seem to have a diverse slate of movies from Legion, Secret Life of Bees, Beautiful yeah. Mind. What do you, what's your process in saying, like, this is the next project I'm going to take? I get bored really quickly, and I want to do as many different things as I can. So it really is quite binary in that I go, oh, I've just done that. I really think I want to, you know, I mean, it's, it's like I'm like a child. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. I got you. There's no plan. <laughs> no, it's terrible. No plan. Well, I really enjoyed the movie. I know everybody's going to enjoy The Tourists, and we're going to keep on following you, you and your career. Thank you so very thank much. Thank you for your time. Take care, mate. Take care. Be good.